Hi, this is Adam from Inflectra, and I'm going to take you on a whirlwind tour of Rapease, our automated testing tool. By now you'll have installed Rapease, and it will have appeared on your screen. So when that happens, the first thing you're going to see is this start page. The start page is your place to find all the information to get going. So any of the samples that come with Rapease, you can actually access right here by just moving the mouse down on this scroll bar. If you want to get more samples from our website, click on the button and that will download the freshest samples from our server. You'll also notice we have this built-in tutorial, so feel free to use that as well to get acclimated. You'll also see links to all the documentation on our website and tutorials, our homepage and a link to our help desk. So if you've got any questions, you can address them to our support team. Underneath that, it shows you the current test where you can change the test and you can play it. After you've got used to the start page, you can just close it away like that. The main ribbon is where all of the permanent actions of Rapease are. So if you want to save the current test, open the new test, either locally from your hard drive or from our test management system called Spiratest, you can do that right here. Once you've opened a test, you're typically going to want to be able to access its main areas. So for example, if you click on the test run, that will take you to the main test. If you want to see the user functions, which are custom functions you may have written, click on the functions one. If you want to do some advanced web service testing, or you want to write manual tests, you have these two shortcuts right here, manual steps and web services, that let you use those features. Once you've got your tests in place, you can then start to record some actions. To do that, you're going to click on the record button, and that lets you record your first test. Once your test is done, you'll typically use the play button to play it back. Applications that you're testing may be more complex and may need more advanced inspection methods where you can actually see the application and see the controls. These spy tools that we have in Rapease are designed to test different applications. So choose the application type. If, for example, you're doing a cross-browser application, choose the web object. If you're accessing a mobile device, use the mobile object. And for different desktop technologies, we've got spies for Java and Windows and other technologies. Just choose the right tool, then hit the spy button. Uh, for advanced users, we also have debugging tools, where you can actually stop a test as it's playing back and actually inspect what's going on right in the middle of it. There's also some advanced functions here where you can activate your license, you can merge objects, and do other advanced um, operations. If you'd like to learn more about those operations, we have videos on our YouTube channel that explain each of these features. And lastly, if you need help, we do have this shortcut that will launch the help system right away. Once you've got used to this main part of the application, you sometimes may want to configure how it works. All of the options for configuring how Rupees works are in this Options tab. Uh, the main settings are here in the Settings box, and that's where you can change where it's accessing things in your file system, and any of the global settings can be changed. Any of the settings here affect all your test cases. You also have the option in here to connect to Spiratest, the test management tool. If ever you move things around in Rupees and you want to reset your layout, you have the option too. And that saves a lot of people. And then lastly, we have different settings for each of the technologies. So feel free to use these if you're doing web testing, mobile testing, or Java testing. There are configuration options right here to change how it behaves. Uh, the next thing we'll look at is the object tree. The object tree is available in all the tests you record. And it doesn't matter if it's a web test or a mobile or an API. Anytime you record an, with an application, Rupees will put the objects that you've learned right here in the object tree. And we group them under the window or application name. There are also some global functions available in the global object. These are global utility objects you can use to access the file system or database. In addition, we have the File Explorer. This will show you all of your reports and all of your test script files. And then lastly, we have the third tab, which are the settings. Now, these settings are the settings for a specific test. So unlike the main settings on the top ribbon, which affect the entire application, the ones here affect just the current file. A common thing that people will often want to change will be the playback speed, for example. The main section of the application, this main window, this will depend on what you're doing and what document you're looking at. This could be a test script, it could be a report, it could be a spreadsheet. Each of these will be covered in separate videos depending on the type of test you're recording. And the last thing is on the bottom, whenever Rupees is running, we do log lots of information to the Output, Warnings, and Errors tab. And these are very useful when you're doing an automated test and it doesn't behave the way you expect and you need to record more information. Or if you have any issues with the software and you want to be able to get support, these are very useful places to get information. So those are the main parts of Rupees. 
And if you want to try it yourself, please click on the quick start guide and that will walk you through creating your first web-based automated test using the scriptless language. Thanks for watching today. I hope this was a helpful video. If you'd like to learn more about automated testing, please subscribe to our channel.